Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and we just had an amazing new LEGO set reveal that includes an exclusive Ninjago minifigure that none of us are going to be able to get. This is coming from Aaron Brick Designer over on Instagram, which you can see in his bio, he is currently a senior designer for the LEGO group. If you look at his page, you can see tons of the different sets he designed, lots of really cool stuff, but he just posted something on his story. He is currently at the LEGO Design Seminar for this year, and if you didn't know, at the LEGO Design Seminars, they typically give out exclusive LEGO sets. Last year, it was this set called Cosmic Daydreams, and it was this really cute little classic space set. I don't believe anything in the set was exclusive except for maybe that print right there, but all of the minifigures did come in other sets. This was the only set to officially include the Purple Spaceman, but there was ways to get these parts elsewhere, again, aside from that brick right there. I don't know if that's printed or a sticker, but I know that didn't come in any other sets. This year's, though, looks a little bit different, so this one is called The Magic of Play, and I'm gonna screenshot this so we can zoom in and look at it a little bit closer. And it comes with these four different, like, castle minifigures with this little stand. But if you look a little bit closer, these aren't just generic castle minifigures, these are all characters from LEGO Original Themes. This right here, this is Johnny Thunder from Adventurers and this year's LEGO City Wave. This is Mrs. Castillo from LEGO Dreams. This is the robot from the little $10 creator set that came out a few years ago. But then most importantly to me, this is Sensei Wu dressed in a wizard outfit. I think this is such a cool idea for this set, but the issue is, it looks like there's some exclusive pieces here. Right off the bat, Mrs. Castillo's torso is definitely exclusive. She's got that really weird torso piece, so there's no way this could be used. This has to be new for this set. So for any fans of LEGO Dreams out there, if you want every single Dreams figure, yeah, this is one you're gonna wanna get. Johnny Thunder, I can't tell if that torso piece is new, it could just be the generic bard torso. But then if we look at Sensei Wu, I'm really not sure. That cape in dark blue does look new, that's like the newer rubber cape, I don't know if we have that part in that color yet. But the legs look to me like they might just be Legacy J's, which if they are, that's perfect. I'd be perfectly happy with that. The issue here is the torso. Now you can see Sensei Wu's beard is covering a good part of it, but it's got like this white undershirt, and I can't really think of any torsos that look like that. Wu's outfit looks to be based off Magisto, but if we look at the last official version of Magisto, he had no printing on his torso at all. So it's not like reused from him or anything. So I know it's very low resolution, but if anybody recognizes what this torso could be, please let me know in the comments. But I do have the unfortunate feeling that it is probably new for this minifigure, because Mrs. Castillo is definitely new, so if she gets a new one, Wu probably gets a new one too. So anyone who's trying to have a complete Ninjago collection like I am, this minifigure is potentially going to be very difficult to get. Now that being said, it's not impossible that we get these minifigures somewhere else. Again, if we look at last year's set, it didn't have exclusive minifigures. All the minifigures in that set, there was other ways to get them. So I'm hoping we'll see these torsos show up somewhere so you can at least build these minifigures even if you don't have the official set. I expect this sticker or print with the name of the set at the top to remain exclusive because that's what it was last year. But yeah, while the entire set's really awesome and I love it a lot, what I'm most interested in is just this Wu minifigure. I really want this guy to complete my collection, so I hope there's going to be another way to get him, otherwise it's going to be hard to get this because as you can see at the top right here, it is not for sale and it is only LEGO designers getting this to my knowledge. This is now the second year in a row that there's like an exclusive Ninjago minifigure that's hard to get, the first one being the baby Ryu from last year, and I still haven't gotten that one. So yeah, not sure how to feel about this. It's a really cool set, and if it ends up being more widely available, awesome. I'll be really happy to see that, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments. Do you guys want this stuff to be released elsewhere? And does anybody recognize this torso as something existing? Because if you do, please let me know in the comments, because that'll make this a lot more stomachable. But yeah, that's about all I have to share for this video. A very interesting new LEGO set. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next next one. Bye.